Welcome to Amazon Lit. This is a little bit about us. Mm. Eric and I had known each other for half of our lives. Uh, we met back in high school when I moved to his town and we connected pretty much right away. Mm -hmm. Eric's a guy who has similar drive to mine. He loves the hustle. Mm. And uh, we've both persevered through uh, some difficult times early on. So I joined Sebastian full-time two years after he started selling on Amazon. And during those first two years, I worked part-time on and off in the warehouse stickering products. So I understood what was happening and quickly came to the realization that the opportunity to grow a successful Amazon business was possible. Sebastian over here taught me the ins and outs of retail arbitrage, and I was hooked from day one. It just all made sense in my head. The hustle was invigorating. Searching, finding, listing, and selling the products we found became more than a job, it became a passion. We quickly realized that we were capping out at about $5 million per year with retail arbitrage, and we knew there had to be a better way. Year two, we started to get into wholesale, and by year three, our business model was 100% wholesale. The wholesale business taught me so much about the importance of relationships in business. At that moment, I realized that if I wanted to be successful, I had to get uncomfortable because greatness begins beyond your comfort zone. We continue to make ourselves uncomfortable as often as possible. Our success depends upon it. Last year, we made one more revolutionary change and that has enabled us to continue to grow and make more money. We created over 200 private label products and learned an entirely new side of the industry. We now operate a 10% private label and 90% wholesale business. And the opportunity for growth is alive and well. Every morning I wake up, I have a decision to make. Am I going to seize the day, work smarter, and take advantage of the moment? Or am I going to squander my opportunity? I choose to use the hours to my benefit and to their fullest potential and build wealth the best way I know how. Pure hustle. You know, I remember actually day one, Eric came into the basement yeah. and had thought I had lost my mind. Lost he, saw, it. he saw a ton of products down there. And, and then when I told him I was going to be selling them on Amazon, he gave me this look. He didn't say it, but the look. That I was know, crazy. I know Eric, so I knew, I, I, I knew <laughs> crazy, what that look meant. Crazy. But uh, I do remember early on in our business, uh, starting off and really just having zero prior experience or knowledge of the retail industry, let alone e-commerce. The best decision I made was to just take action. Take action right away and don't stop. Too many times our fears that, that what if, that negative projection halts us in our tracks and we don't jump on an opportunity because we don't know what the outcome will be. But imagine if we had that same outlook when it came to driving at night. Imagine if we would only pursue a destination if we could see it. Our headlights only light the path about 300 feet ahead of us. We would never leave the parking lot. It's about putting one foot in front of the other and learning and progressing every day. One of my favorite authors, James Clear, has a great book called Atomic Habits, which sums up life progress for me. As long as at the end of the day, I can look back and see that I progressed 1%, then I know that today was a successful day. And that 1% compounded over one year, two years, five years, well, I'm a completely different person when I look back at that. And then if you look around you, we have a completely different business because of that. You see, my business success and progress is a direct reflection of my own progress. So if you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or watch our YouTube channel, you'll find that we are big picture guys. We're big picture guys. Nobody goes to college, invest $80,000 in their first year, and then ask the professor, when I'm finished with this course, will I have the Lambo and be filthy rich? So why is so much of social media skewed? This misperception of success was the reason that Eric and I decided that we absolutely need to fill this void to provide real, raw material for those sellers, those individuals and families who are in the same place that we were in just a few years ago. The material portion of success does bring those finer luxury items to fruition, but we know from experience it doesn't happen overnight and we rather invest our money now to continue pushing our momentum on the industry. This is why when you watch our content, we are always providing content pertaining to the journey of success, always pertaining to the grind, because you see the glamour is great, but the grind is real. And the largest portion of life for those who are uber successful is the hustle. This is why we rather show our followers, our virtual family, the path to the goal rather than the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow.